Let me share with you a few thoughts and challenges to encourage you in the process of developing these habits. One of the most important things you can do is to share these ideas with others, with your family, with your friends and associates. Don't just retell what you've learned, but talk about the insights you've acquired and the ideas that you want to implement. Because that's where the real learning takes place. It is in the teaching and in the sharing. Get with a coach or someone who is also working on these habits. Set a specific time to get together and keep that date. Share insights into what has worked for you and what has not. Discover together how you can overcome the challenges you face in developing all of these habits. Set goals to improve in specific areas. Focus on a single habit. Look over your materials. Read and reflect on how you can improve in this habit. Revisit the commitments you've made to yourself throughout the course. Don't try to change everything all at once. Listen with your heart. Determine those things that are most important for you to work on right now. Remember, don't give up. Be patient. A strong character is not developed overnight. Choose to live your life based upon correct principles. All of the seven habits are based on universal principles which have endured throughout the ages. Live the habits. Work within your circle of influence and become a transition figure in your work, your community, and your family. Set aside time to go to a quiet place to really think about your mission. What is it you stand for? What is your purpose? What are your values? Keep working through your mission statement until it inspires you. Then live by your mission. Choose to put first things first. Search for a win-win in every situation. Learn to stop and listen to others first. Listen with your heart. Value differences. Look at differences as the springboard to finding the third alternative. Finally, remember to always sharpen the saw, to renew yourself in a very balanced way. The power of these habits is in the doing, in the living, in the continuous day-by-day day improvements. It's a constant effort. We need to make these habits and these principles a part of our very life. We must pay the price by actually living them rather than just understanding them intellectually. I love the quote from T.S. Eliot. Think about this. He once said, We must never cease from exploring. And the end of our exploring will be to arrive where we began and know the place for the first time. You see, in a very real sense, you already know these habits in your heart. The exciting thing is to embark on a lifelong adventure, an exciting time of literally internalizing them and living them and experiencing the magnificent fruits that come in the totality of our lives. Mm -hmm.